All right, so we had one of our atmospheric rivers we've been getting in California lately, and supposedly high winds. I only saw 20 miles an hour here, but th this is fairly close to the roof, so three feet from the roof. Actually, it's probably, yeah, wind says it's probably about three feet above the roof. And there are some trees around here. There's a big tree here, although it doesn't have any leaves, but... In any case, uh, the tempest survived, so that's good. And it seems to be reading okay, so let's see how it did for, uh, let me get this up reflecting here. Let's see how it did for uh, rain pr rain prediction. That's that's the, mo the big question mark, really. So, so far today, uh, it's accumulated uh, about less than, less than 1.8 inches and yesterday which is when i i um uh dumped it out it did about um um let's see that's one of the other way yeah it did about uh 0. 0.4 inches so that's about 2.2.2 and if we look at our rain gauge we've got Take it down. Rain gauge says 2.5, so that's actually pretty accurate. It's within a few tenths of an inch, so that's actually better. Now I wonder they, they said they they were going to do some uh, calibrations on their uh, based on the data where I'm sending to them and I guess the local weather. So I don't know if they have started adjusting it because my. When I first started measuring it, when we first installed it, it was about 50%. It was only registering 50% of the rain, so. Seems to be doing better. We'll keep an eye on it and see how it does the rest of the storm. All right, so the Tempest Weather Station survived its first major storm. Let's call it storms, because we had uh, a couple of uh, atmospheric rivers come through and dumped inches of rain the last week or so. So let's go inside and we'll take a look at the app and see how it's doing comp of uh, predicting the rainfall versus what we're getting on the rain gauge. So it's too glary outside to look at the app, so I brought it inside. So it, it said we had 0.32 inches of rain today. And I emptied it yesterday afternoon after it stopped raining. So let's take a look at that. It's not raining right now. So if we zoom out, yeah, so just after midnight, it started raining. I remember that from being awake and it accumulated about 0.32 inches. And then if we zoom out some more, we'll see. So th th this is when I emptied it last night or yesterday afternoon after it stopped raining. So, so let's go check the rain gauge and we'll see how we did versus the uh, tempest. So here's our rain gauge and uh, I had this for at least 10 years now. It seems to be doing pretty well. This plastic must be stabilized, so. Uh, looks like I got 0.35 inches. So that's really close. So it's within a, within a few hundredths of an inch of the actual, at least according to this rain gauge. This is a standard rain gauge. I think it's accurate. Its positioning is different, obviously. It's over here on the uh, potting bench versus up on the roof. But I, again, when I first installed the Tempest, it was underestimating the rainfall by about 50%. And uh, seems to be doing better. Now, I'll have to wait till another major storm comes through. And we'll compare this to the Tempest, because that's what I was originally gauging my accuracy measurements on, was when we got th like three inches of rain over 24 hours. So. All right, we'll dump this out. And we'll keep checking. I'm not going to get rid of this rain gauge it's just because it's a standard, so I'd rather have that as a backup in case the uh, Tempest isn't that accurate. So we're going to keep this, but we're using the Tempest mostly for all of our weather uh, information. Okay, to finish things up, we want to set up a permanent display on our kitchen table so we can see what's going on outside, decide what kind of clothes we need, whether it's raining, how cold it is, whether it's windy. So we had two options for the old device we had lying around. This is an iP iPad mini. It's uh, maybe seven or eight years old. And this is an iPhone 6. So 
So originally I was going to use this iPhone. I, I basically took the SIM card out because I don't have an account for this one anymore. And I just using the Wi-Fi. And I thought this would be the easiest thing to put up, but I realized how small the display was. So you can see the comparison. Now the, the, the uh, Tempest information is fine as far as what you can see. It gives you all the, detail, all the critical information you need whether it's raining or not. But as far as weather predictions and stuff, you can obviously see a lot more over here. You can see the next few hours on the uh, iPhone. Of course, you can scroll around and get everything, but um, I want to just have a one-stop device to do everything to find out, you know, the predictions for the next few hours and uh, the next day and things like that. I just think this would be much easier to use. So the way I set this up, I of course logged into our Tempest, but I set it up by turning off auto lock. So it's not gonna put the lock screen up. So this will basically be on all the time. And uh, that way we don't have to turn it on and unlock it. So I've got some other apps installed here, weather apps. My favorite weather app is Weatherbug because it lets me easily set my location. I like this better than the Apple Weather just it just uses your current location. I mean, you can put other locations in there, but this I can have this default easily to my location I want. So this is saying chance of storms 52 high, 52, 58 high, 52 low, and let's see what the tempest is saying. So it's saying for today, um, 55 high and 48 low. So for what I've seen for today, this is more accurate. But we'll have to monitor that over time. So let me get this set up on the kitchen table and you'll see the final. Actually, now I got it over here on the table. Excuse the messy table. Uh, I've got it plugged in. So it's going to be plugged into the wall all the time. And um, I, I kind of like this display better because it's easier just to, there's a lot of busy stuff here that's closer to you. So I'm just going to use this. Uh, iPhone 6. So I thought the bigger display would be more helpful, but I think just for, you know, quick look, quick glance about what, what you want to know is, you know, what's the weather now? What's the weather the next few hours? This smaller display is actually superior to this big giant one with all this other stuff. If I really want to get into, you know, weather predictions and all those other things, I can use my other devices. So, so we're going to go with the, take out the iPad. Go with the iPhone. It can have a little closer to us, so it's not so intimidating. And uh, we're just going to use this. So meanwhile, go Bears and go Tempest. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Post a comment if you have any questions or ideas, and I'll try to respond. That's all for now, but more videos are coming. And if you want to see them, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon if you don't want to miss one. This is Beta Signy signing out, and keep looking up.